What's up, y'all? Kobe Pegway. Welcome to my Truck Talk Tuesday. Kind of like a podcast where we kind of just, you know, go back and forth, give out a little information, ask a few questions. You know, I ask y'all some questions to make sure that everybody's coming into the game is mentally ready and to make sure that everybody that's in the game knows what's going on within the game, at least from my perspective. So what I have been experiencing, I have been experiencing some trouble as I'm expanding. I wouldn't say out of the box truck game, but I'm more going into 18 wheeler game because I just, it's just a more variety of work I can get. And it also is going to help my, it's going to help my box truck fleet because whatever the 18 wheelers leave behind, I could just call up the box trucks, get them to come and swoop that up. So I'm just more expanding my fleet and trying to play a, play a bigger game, let's say. But the problem I've been running into is that there are, I didn't even realize until I was doing this, is that there is a complete drought in the whole United States on 53-foot trailers. Because I'm trying, well, on dry van trailers, because I'm just trying to get some trailers because that's how you really get the shippers. You know, you offer them way more value when you're able to have a trailer for them. So that's why the box trucks is good because it come with a trailer. But with the semi on that side, it's a, it's a serious issue with the trailers. So it's not even any to rent or lease. So somebody then then bought them all. But me, I managed to snatch up three of them today, two three fifty threes from twenty fourteens that I'm that I'm about to get. And I ain't even gonna tell y'all where I'm getting it from because I want nobody to try to go snatch them before I go in two in two days. I already got deposits on them anyway though. But I just gotta go check them out and make sure they all good to go. So know that it is a a drought on box trucks. Well, it, it's like I said, it's dry. Like I shop at the dealer, so it. I'm not saying there's no box trucks or no trailers to go buy from a person, but I, I need to get warranties when I'm buying my stuff because, you know, trucks be breaking down a lot. So I want to make sure that I got that I can hold somebody accountable at least. If it's a lemon, you know, within the first thirty days, I don't want to be driving off and now I didn't bought me something that that I can't even you know get reimbursed for. So. That's that's the one of the main things I want to talk about. Um, box trucks. I've been able to rent those a little bit here in the Atlanta market. I, I probably couldn't go get ten of them, you know, at the same time, but I could definitely squeeze out one or two. So I don't know what other markets is looking like for the box trucks. I just know the price because it's not a lot of them for sale. Because last year with the pandemic, I, they didn't make a lot of they didn't make a lot of stuff. And then the plants are only working because of the pan, because of the pandemic. The plants are only working from to my knowledge with like. 60 70 percent crew so that's 30 percent off so they enable that's 30 percent of laborers that they don't have so they not really manufacturing them as fast i called at least 35 dealers and they all said that they sold out for the year and that that's with the year of brand new trailers and they all had pretty much they didn't even have any used trailers so what i'm gonna tell y'all about used trailers is this when you get a used trailer Make sure it's food grade because a lot of brokers or a lot of shippers don't want um, they don't want trailers that are over that are older than ten years old. So it's two thousand one now. So two thousand eleven is the oldest year that you can rock with. So if you're looking into getting your own trailers, make sure that it's over that that is you know that it's newer than ten years. So if it's twenty twenty one, you don't want to go buy a twenty eleven trailer because you're only gonna be able to use it food grade. Now I'm not saying you can't go pull some Amazon loads with it because you can. You can go pull some Amazon loads with with that. You definitely can. But I'm just saying, you know, just keep that in mind because you can go get you a $5,000 trailer. But I'm the type of person that I'm going to tell you, like, look, don't go out and go buy a truck that's going to put you in a situation where you got to settle for certain work so you can save $5,000. Case in point, the box trucks, that's a 24-foot. I'm not saying that a 24-foot can't get you work. But what I'm saying is a 26 foot could get you more work. So when you're starting off, the last thing you want to do is to have something that's restricting you from getting to work, from getting work. Like you pull up to a place and you got to leave a pallet behind. How how happy do you think a shipper is going to be if you can't take all of the freight because they really wanted a 26 foot truck? So I'm just saying, keep make sure you keep your options open when you out here shopping for vehicles. And I am going to make a whole video on the breakdown of of what vehicles to buy, of like what specs to look for to make sure that you get you something that, that that's versatile with the work. That's the number one thing is like, okay, you already got a new authority, right? So they don't want to load you because of that, a lot of them. So now you got the wrong dimensions. 
So now that's another reason why they can't load you. What up, trial? How can you get that sheet from Amazon or Penske with the Penske rate? You, you should just be able to, once you get in with Amazon, it's a thing called VAS at Amazon.com. It's value-added services. They'll be able to, that's how you get the fuel cards. That's how you get the rental trucks. That's how you get all of that stuff. It's VAS at Amazon.com. And I can, and I can, let me see. Hey, look, you ain't got to rent Amazon to get the, to um like you ain't got to necessarily do Amazon loads. You know, I'm just saying. If you signed up with them, reach out to them and, you know, and, you know, and get the the discount. I mean, I, I've been having discounts on trucks since I started. You know, I used to use the FedEx discount, and I never even ran FedEx. You know, I just, man, you got to finesse the game. You got to. All right, so anybody else? I just dropped this right on here for y'all. I dropped it on Facebook and YouTube. Value added services. This is this is the email link right here. This is the one where you go get the fuel card and everything. So y'all, so I ain't I ain't, I ain't holding the information from y'all. So y'all y'all could just scroll down. I oh, know I do not own a lot. I def I'm definitely paying for parking somewhere. I I, I pay 150 a month for each unit. Uh, 150. Used to pay like some places some places to charge you 125. But I, I wanted to get one that had the guard shack. So just because I had a, one of my trucks stolen. So I wanted to get a place where people getting checked in and out of to make sure that I'm on the money. Anybody that come in, they're going to get caught and they're going to get prosecuted to the fullest extent. What up, what up? I'm trying to see if any, have anybody else ran into that? Truck auctions broke? Nah. Now I haven't I haven't looked at any truck auctions with Richie Bros. One of my drivers was telling me look at Richie Bros. I haven't, but like I said, auctions I stay away from. I've bought a turd or two before, just buying it from somebody. So now I strictly go to places that I can sue or that I can take the truck back to. Strictly just because like with trucks, you never know what you get, and they they can maintenance it, but they they wasn't they drivers wasn't driving it. They they was renting it out to anybody. So you know, in rentals, people be banging them and all of that type of stuff. So. Geo, what up, what up, Geo? Shouts out to Geo, best best class guy. Thank you, I appreciate you taking the class, man. That class was awesome too, though. Like we 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 had a lot of people in the asking real good questions. And keep in mind, I need the, I like doing a live class because it's it's certain stuff that I feel like is important to know, but I don't I can't possibly cover everything. I just just doing it from my perspective. So these guys in that last class is gonna make the next class be better because they ask questions that I didn't that I didn't address. So I appreciate that. Appreciate you, Gio. All right, so we could jump into some questions and we could do some we could do some city lookups. I need y'all to hit them, get them likes up, get them likes up for me. Y'all hidden foe, hidden foe. Okay, so what up, what, what up, Corey McGee? He say, uh, good price for a starter truck on the semi side, mileage and year. Um, I just bought three trucks. They all 2016s. They got about 600,000 miles on them. I'm paying like 41 a piece with the warranty and everything included, but they're automatics. So had I spent 40 grand on a manual, I would have had a lot less miles, but I need automatics because a lot of these guys got automatic restrictions on their license. So if you want to get a good driver, you know, you got to play the game. Good price. Like I said, I bought a truck for 23 just a semi for 23 it was a manual and i just put like 14 grand in that mug so and i ain't, i ain't haven't even had it for six months so some like i said sometimes you just be unlucky and i that particular one i decided i'm like you know what i've been having good luck with these trucks and i didn't get a warranty on it 14 g's already that truck hasn't even made me 14 g's probably or if it did i just gave all the money back that that I had, but of course I got so much stuff fixed. It's not going to continue to keep breaking down. It's going to last me. I just got to keep it now. So yeah, so I would say me, I'm cool with 600,000 miles because I'm only trying to put 150,000 on a truck, probably 150, 200,000 miles. And then I'm probably be trying to switch and get me some newer units. I mean, that's, that's just, that's just how I roll with it. 
So I don't look for mileage because the, the new trucks, the rental trucks be breaking down with 100,000 miles on them. So breakdowns are going to happen regardless. I'd rather spend less money and just have a little money to the side left for the for the maintenance. Let's see if we got any questions. King Kobe, we have been thinking about going more semi instead of box trucks. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I'm I'm not knocking the box trucks, but me, I'm, I'm always if, if everybody's going one way, I'm going the other way. You know, uh, I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my box trucks, but like I'm definitely getting semis because I can make more money with less semis than I can with the box trucks. But having a mixture of both of them, that's that's the idea because the LT them LTL loads they have your box truck making making semi money for real, for real. And it's going to be real good, especially in places like Atlanta or like smaller places where they got places where the semis can't go. So like being able to have that, that double, the, the, the double weaponry where you could, you know, you got the box truck. Okay, cool. Semi can't go there. All right. I'm going to send I'm going to just send two box trucks in there, split the load up and they got to pay you twice. So, and then, and then I'm um, bad about that at all. And you show Kansas City on the low board potentially, potentially. I definitely want to get questions out, and we definitely can get some city, some city lookups going, for sure, for sure, for sure. So we got about forty. Let me look at the clock. We got about forty, about forty-two more minutes. I'm gonna be on here for sure. Top epic goal, top five epic goal. I guess I'm saying that right. Hopefully I am. Don't 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 mean to, to slander your name, my brother or sister. Kobe, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm thinking of buying a box truck or getting my CDL and get a semi to start the business. I'm single, no kids, and 25 years old. What would you do in my position? Think about getting a buying a box truck or getting my CDL. I mean, in Arizona, that's a super tough market, you know, for real. I mean, that's a super, super, super tough market. But not impossible. If I was out there, I mean, like a box truck or a semi would work out there. Getting your CDL, understand that it's going to take you a minute to get experience in there. So a lot of contracts, don't take my word for it exactly, but a lot of a lot of contracts you're going to have, like say if you want the lease on the FedEx or UPS, you're going to actually have to do that. You're going to have to have like a year experience or two years experience, and then your insurance is going to be so high. You might, like most of the time, you a CDL driver, you want to go drive for Swift or somebody first, get your experience up because the insurance might cost so much. But like I said, don't take my word for it. Call and see what it would be like for somebody for insurance with no with no experience. And keep in mind, you I wouldn't be taking no chance on driving that type of equipment without no experience. I go I go out to Swift and go wreck one of theirs or, or you know, or learn in theirs and have them to teach me before I do that. But... You also can, like I said, I, I did a box truck in Phoenix, and I, I was able to survive from a one truck. I couldn't figure out how to scale it out there, though. That don't mean it can't be done. I only gave it a year and a half try. So maybe if I'd have stayed out there for another year, I would have broke it open like I did when I came back to Atlanta. So, so yeah, so that's a good thing. So if I was in your if I was in your position, I would, I would potentially just start with the box truck, get it going, and then if you want to attack the semi, put somebody in that box truck and, and, and you go out and do your semi thing. Cause ain't nothing wrong with going to go work for Swift while you still getting experience being an owner at the same time. Always think the CEO mind though. Always. All right. Let me scroll down. Yeah, Coop, I, I missed somebody up here. Uh, Shouts out to Gio. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the don't, the, the donations, y'all, I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Gio, he, he still support. He took the class and still support, and I like it, man. Shouts out, shouts out. What up, Cleo? Appreciate the gems, boss. What box truck low boy look look like in Milwaukee? Give me a second. Let me add Milwaukee to the list. So we got Milwaukee, and somebody else asked about. I'm a, hopefully my moderator, my wife, she be trying to catch everything for me. To make sure I don't, I, don't, I don't leave nobody behind. But, yeah, we'll check out Milwaukee, too, Cleo. And, and definitely thanks for the donation. King Mel, thank you. Thank you for the donation, brother. Definitely, man. Y'all be showing mad love, man. <laughs> for real, for real. New CDL driver, where can I get insurance? 
I said you could try progressive. A lot of a lot of companies require two years though. So I would say call at least ten companies. But I know progressive will probably answer anybody. It's just probably gonna be a whole lot. It, and and then it, and then a whole lot of it, a whole lot of it is gonna be depending on what state you're in. Like if you're in like Mississippi somewhere, that's the only way I I would probably get like a new CDL driver because the insurance rates are so low that if it's a new CDL driver covering, it'll probably end up being what it normally is everywhere else. So yeah. Shouts out to everybody showing showing love though. So let me see if there's more questions in here. We're gonna get to the looks ups and look ups in a second. Right. Nashville looking like on the box trucks. Let me get to that. I see Kansas City. So let's see. We got Kansas. We got Kansas City. We got Nashville. All right. I'm I'm, I'm recording a couple of these lookups. Make sure y'all. Make sure y'all hitting that like, and I see we got a lot more people in the building now. In the virtual building. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Have you heard? All right. Zenobia Crumble. Have you heard anything about being two weeks active to apply for Amazon box trucks? Um, I'm not sure. I was active for years before I before Amazon was was a was a big thing. So I don't I don't know. But Demetrius B, he got a he got a channel where he he's new. He's been doing it for about three months and he kinda like up on all of that that type of like the new the new to Amazon Amazon thing, you know. Um I think when once you active, it just take them two days from what I know. Like once you active, you try to apply for them and it took two days. My cousin just did it. And it didn't take her that that long. She just had to, I would say, just go look at their requirements and make sure you send those requirements to your insurance agent to make sure you don't, you know, you got everything that they that that they need. So you, you know, so you so you can, you know, be be ready for it. I always like to be in front, you know, move ahead. Just, you know, if that's what you're trying to do, make sure that 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 they know that because insurance people be kind of trying to sell you sell you on what they want to sell you to get a little more money off of you. So make sure you control it. Is it cheaper to hot shot than buying an actual eighteen wheeler? Um, I mean, hot shot trucks. I mean, you, you can get one of those for fifteen, but you can get an eighteen wheeler for fifteen too. So it just kind of depends on what you what you want to do. All of this stuff I'm saying is subjective. It's based on what I would do. I got a couple partners that's working on getting getting hot shots right now. The the, the dually trucks. And they they trying to pull like three car two or three cars or they either trying to pull a flatbed. It's a lot of money in there. You can make semi money in that. To me, you know, yeah, you could easily find a driver. That just ain't my vision of what I wanted to do. But Hot Shots is making big money, and in some cases they making they making more money than certain semis because it's expedited. It's the hustle and bustle. Expedited meaning you gotta you gotta be on it trying to find it all the time. I'm more look for dedicated work, you know. So. So I, hey, you can outbeat me with that with that hot shot with that because I need mine's dedicated so I can sleep better at night. I don't, I don't want nobody waking me up in the middle of the night because they doing they they didn't went took a route that they didn't. I want them to be on the same route that they already know. So it'd be less it'd be less hectic. It'd be less errors. It'd be just all automation. You know. So also, do do you think Indiana? Is a good market for box truck business, Amazon and other low. Yeah, the, anywhere in the Midwest is gonna be good. Indiana's close to the shy and stuff like that. Now you have more might have more loads coming out of like Detroit and like Chicago and stuff. But the the, the fact that you're in the Midwest, it, it shouldn't be no problem at all. Matter of fact, I want to add Indiana to the thing because like I know for a fact places like St. Louis, Chicago, um, Ohio, all of those places, you won't have a problem finding any work. Now, is it going to be good for Amazon? I understand that it's been box trucks been moving way before Amazon, so I just I just started with it with Amazon. But it's a, it's a lot of other it's a lot of other freight out here, a whole lot of other freight, especially with the pandemic. You got to think about it. More people are going to ordering online, so the truck and trucking ain't going to be a bad industry to get in. It's just a lot of people are getting in as well, so you got to just have a better strategy. You know, only the strong survive. You got to really want it. All right, so I answered that for Corey. New Jersey bound acquiring acquiring about the class if it is a one off how is access lifetime. Yeah, the 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 actual replay you will be able to get it on Vimeo. I don't want to say lifetime, but 
as, as long as I'm playing for Vimeo, which I'm gonna be doing this for good. So you know, I would I would guarantee you a year. I mean, if you get access, I mean, it's like if you go to college, <laughs> essentially. You know, you can if you buy the books, you can keep the books. So I do have like a pamphlet that, that you can buy of the actual course too, as well. So if you if you don't want to sit in a long class, but you just want to get the actual information, I do say that as well too. And it's Kobe value added. I am running tier one auto parts here in Michigan. I am about to buy more. About I am able to buy more business from the group. I am going to call you one on one. I, I, Derek, yeah, just go to my website and book that one on one call, and and definitely, definitely see he the Midwest. You know, is I don't hear not one person in the Midwest having a problem finding any work, guaranteed. I haven't heard of I haven't heard of that before. Period. Glider trucks are the new trucks with no def, no emissions crap. They can be great options, and parts are cheaper. Okay, yeah, see, I ain't I ain't even hip on that. I'm just. I'm just sticking to what I what my vision was initially in the beginning. You know, I'm, now I'm gonna go look at them gliders. Like if I don't know about something, I'm gonna let you know. I don't. I have no clue. I've never heard of them at all. But thanks for the tips. See, we are. I'm learning here too as well. You know, I definitely don't know at all. I just know how to get that bag with it. Do I need a CDL to rent a semi? That's a that's a good question, Henry. Great, great, great question. So. Somebody with a CDL is gonna have to pick the truck up. That's one thing I know. Now I just I just make the reservations with Ryder, but you can't pick the truck up if you don't have a CDL. So that's the problem with me not having a CDL is that I gotta pay the driver fifty dollars. You know I'm like, hey, I give you fifty, you go pick up this truck for me. You know because they know that I can't pick it up, so you gotta pay to play. So having a CDL like going to the class and getting it just to move a truck is a very good mode. Hold on, y'all, one second. I forgot to plug on my own. I forgot to f- plug on my, my MacBook. Hold on. All right, we plugged in and ready to go. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got nine. Uh, yeah, I was about, I was about to go out. All right, y'all, we back in action. So, 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 yeah. So, you, you definitely, you definitely are going to have to have a CDL, or somebody going to have to have a CDL in order for you to get it. Now, they ain't not going to ask you for your CDL over the phone, though. That's for sure. All right. I own a tr- Paradise Monzi. I, I own a truck but not planning to drive. Do I still have to take a drug test or do my future employees with CDLs do? Yeah. So you, you want to drug test all of your people, but CDLs definitely have to. You don't you you could just be on a policy like me as the owner because I don't I don't drive any of the trucks. Unless I, I might drive every now and then, but I'm not on a policy as a driver though. Because I don't, you know, I don't drive. And my record is is not bad, but it could be better. So yeah, I um definitely, definitely you don't have to take the drug test. You don't even have to be on the policy at all. How long should I wait to apply for box truck with Amazon? I mean, as soon as you as soon as you active, I would try. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't wait. I mean, there's no reason to wait. You know, all they could tell you is no, you're not ready yet. So I definitely go for it. Milwaukee, okay, I see that. I got you, I got you. Was it a sleeper? Was what a sleeper? Well, I don't know. I don't know if you asked me. All my trucks are sleepers. I, I don't. I don't buy day cabs at all, at all. First, thank you for all the knowledge and experience you share. What's a good company to start looking for insurance for a new CDL driver? I think I answered that already, a new MC. Progressive is going to be your best bet. It's probably going to be high depending on the market, but try 10 of them. I don't really know what's the best one for a new CDL because I never had a new CDL. So I can't really speak from the expertise on that because I I don't know. I haven't experienced it. So uh, I would say just try 10 of them. I mean, me, I'm just going I'm just gonna call 10 and see who will give me the best rate. I would never go with the first option, not even if you season 
Okay, so we got Cleveland. We got Cleveland in the building. So I got like five cities. Anybody got any specific questions? Like any like simple questions that I can probably knock off for y'all? It's the Q and A. We need to be learning, learning together. Y'all teaching me today. Oh yeah, Eric, definitely, definitely get um. I'm, I'm definitely only buying automatics. That that manual, I'm definitely probably gonna sell it because drivers don't want to drive manuals because they all. I mean, you gotta play the game the big dogs playing. So you said rider, rider good with box truck rentals. Yeah, I mean they got some here. I, I, I mean I'm assuming that you're asking me if they good. You just gotta call and check in your market, Dominic. I got to hit the road, Kobe. I'm going to catch your next live. Appreciate you. All right, for sure, for sure, brother. Hit the road. Hey, hey, you out there working. That's what's up. Keep it pushing and be safe out there on that road. Financing our cash for the trucks. I mean, whatever, whatever you can do. I mean, I like cash from an aspect of not having the pressure of finding some work. Like when you got a note on a truck, you almost like, I got to find work. I got to find work. But when all you got is insurance to pay, it's kind of like you could take your time and find that the right work. And you don't have to take no cheap loads just to get, just to pay the bills. Cause that's going to be back up against the wall. So I would say do which one you feel is better. I mean, financing to give you better ROI, you know, that means you could leverage, you could put something down and leverage other people's money and take the profits you know, so if you only put six grand down, that's your initial investment. And so when you when you make twelve, you done already made a flip. But at the same time, you gotta worry about having the note. You know, if work slow down. If work slow down and you pay cash, that truck can sit for a couple of days and you ain't gonna be frantic and panicking. So I see it from both from both angles. I I financed my first first truck, bought the second truck cash, financed the next two. I would probably never finance again unless they giving me a, a three three percent interest rate or some 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 like I got on like my like I got like a two percent on like my Escalade, so that's the only time I'm gonna do it because I'm you know over five years I'm not gonna be paying next to nothing extra in interest. So you get paid when Amazon. All right, it's a good question. Do you get paid when Amazon cancels a load? That I don't think so. When you if you do it off the load board and they cancel it, they pay you a tanu, but they're not just gonna give it to you. They pay you $175, but you gotta dispute it though. They they not just gonna be like, hey, here, we canceled the load. If you don't, if you don't go for it, they will definitely not pay you for it. But if on the dedicated side, it's weird because we don't get paid for a cancel load. Weird stuff. Weird stuff. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why they why would they do it better? So it's almost like I like to get um, you know, loads off the load board. For real. So let's see. Okay, Courtney, I got you. I got you. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm look up St. Louis. But definitely, definitely join me. Join join me, my brother Courtney, over here on um on on, on YouTube. So somebody asked, what my, what's my cash app? My cash app is this. Shouts out to y'all on the, with the, with the, with the love, man. I, I appreciate it. It's my cash app right here. It's simple. Kobe Pegway. Simple, y'all. Simple. Y'all want to donate that way through the cash app? Kobe Pegway. Easy. Easy to remember. Everything I got, if you want to follow me on anything, it's all the same. All right, so let me try to go back up, and I'm going to try to run through some of these questions. Oh, Henry, you can you can buy the book. It'll be coming soon. Just um send me an email right now. Right now, I don't have it on my website. My IT guy got to update that. All right, so let's see. Seattle, I see Seattle, I like Seattle. That's a different one. Seattle, 
Actually, I would rather y'all donate through Cash App for real. Because <laughs> YouTube be trying to take a portion. Seattle. To various. I don't know if you asked the question. I appreciate you donating, but I don't, I, I, don't, I can't see. I'm trying to scroll through and get caught up. All right, so that's the mileage. Can we add Richmond, Virginia? For sure, we can add Richmond to the list. At Richmond. Kobe, I'm in. I'm in San Fran area and got a quote for seven sixty nine a week rental for a box truck. Do you think that's cool? I mean, I've never paid that much to rent a box truck. And I don't know with the lows that I run that that's feasible. I mean, it's seven sixty. I, I pay like seven sixty nine to eight hundred after um my mileage and everything and taxes and everything. But my base rate is four twenty five. I would suggest you to sign up for Amazon Relay so you can get the 425. That's what I suggest you. I suggest you to do that. So I said the I am Ma's life. Shouts out to you, brother, for donating. Yeah, but yeah, I I, I mean I definitely would would say try to get Amazon, try to get the Amazon discount. Are you a DSP for Amazon on the box truck side? If so, can people still get in? So it's it's a weird thing. DSPs and what I and are like with the vans. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like the same thing. So I don't know that they letting any more people in or not. Like I said, I came in seasonal. It wasn't like an invitation. They just sent me an email. So I really don't know. Um, I just know that it's not as good as you think it is. Like I actually want to show, show uh, um, an email that I got where. It's this crazy rates rates that the box trucks is dropping, and that's what's urging me to um to move over to the semi side because I don't I don't think they're gonna they're they're gonna go through with that because I can't see anybody running for what they try to present to me. But that's a whole nother topic though. That is March twenty first. You know I might not be running boxes at all with them if, if if like like if they don't up the rates. How long does it take for your insurance rates to drop? With new authority, I was offered twenty three hundred down, eleven hundred a month, but a no growth clause. All other companies were, yeah. I mean, that's that's twenty three hundred is is gravy. I mean, that's that that's gravy. Eleven hundred a month is gravy. I just hope that it's all inclusive as far as cargo and everything all together. Because I'm paying about, I think my box is I'm paying about eleven hundred out here in Atlanta. Now, when I first started, I dropped two two thousand down, and it was about nine hundred a month. So it's it just went up. It just went up. I mean, but, you know, the rates fluctuate. They go up and down. You bless the community with the game. I respect it for sure, for sure. What up, what up, Alexander Lopez? I see Buffalo on there. I see Buffalo. I see Baltimore. So it looks like more We everybody's shooting for the lookups. All right, okay, okay, let me see what time we got. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to do some lookups real quick. Okay, let me let me do the lookups. So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add Baltimore, I'm gonna add Buffalo, and I'm gonna add Dallas for right now. Baltimore. I think I got Cleveland on here already. I got Cleveland already. I see it about three times. I see Dallas. I see Buffalo. And okay, so then we'll, then we'll probably the majority of the cities that I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I get those cities. I already got Nashville. I see somebody saying, uh, did, did you disable comments on your sponsor ad? It would it wouldn't allow me to comment to open. I don't know from Facebook. No, I'm not sure. Um, I didn't I didn't disable comments. Um, one of my IT people maybe maybe did that by mistake or something like that. 93 with only 33. Come on, folks, crash the like button. Okay, I see you. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Hit hit the like button. It ain't that hard. I got St. Louis on there. Okay, Ohio, here in, here in Ohio, Progressive Insurance, they was too high for a new company. They wanted 3000 down, 1700 a month for a box truck. Yeah, that's what I'm paying for my semis. Shouts out to y'all. 
a good starting company for insurance. I, I answered that question already. I'm trying to get a couple more questions in. It's Phoenix. Me and the wife were thinking about doing an expedited team, driving under a fleet owner and putting a driver. Yeah, me and my wife were thinking about doing an expedited team, driving under a fleet owner while putting a driver in a box truck. Does that that sounds super doable? I mean, I got a guy right now driving for me who's about to put somebody in his truck because he wants to build his business while he's still getting this guaranteed money because it's it seems safer for him. I wouldn't knock that at all. Keep getting your money, making sure your bills paid because that was the hardest thing when I quit my job and trucking wasn't making any money. It started to put a, a damper on my on my personal life. Not to say that I wouldn't do it again and I regret it, but you know if if it's if it's a safer way to go for you by any means, do it. I don't know if how much you're going to be able to control that truck and that driver while you on the road at the same time. You know, I just feel like it'll be it'll be tough to manage, but I definitely don't think it's impossible. What up trucker one first time to the channel. Hey, shout out. You you would definitely love it here. We get we get tons of value. Pittsburgh, I see y'all. I have not I haven't looked at Pittsburgh before, so I'm interested in seeing what that looked like. So I added Pittsburgh to the to the to the thing too. Let's see if we can get let me see. All right, two minutes until we're gonna start doing city lookups. Everybody welcome Trucker One. Go ahead, go ahead and shoot me some questions, Trucker One. Thanks for the answer for show sure, for show. Sure. I got you. I paid forty three hundred and twenty one hundred a month, one box truck with progressive. Woo, that is expensive. Tell me how they work out, man, with the weight of loads, man. Whew, that is that is very, very high overhead, Huddy Main. Yeah, let me know how that work, man. Send me an email on that. Not much, just a few days training. What it look like in Cali. Cali is big, you know. Gas to be more specific with that. Semi and box truck loads. Shouts out for the donation, Raul. As always, shopping. Um, he said, semi and box truck loads. For some reason, it ain't letting me put this one up on, on the screen. Shopping trucks, just trying to see if it would be more beneficial for me to buy a box truck or a semi. It would be more beneficial to it depending on your market. Like, I would say go go look on the load boards and see what makes sense in your market. Go call shippers and call brokers. They'll let you know what the what the atmosphere is in your market. Every market is different. So don't just run to the box truck because it seems easy or the semi because it seems to make more money. Do what the market needs. Business is about solving problems. It's about it's it's about, you know, finding pain points and and solving those, being the band-aid for somebody's problem. If you're not solving a problem, uh, the problem that, that needs to go down in your market, then it's going to be hard. You know, it's, it's definitely going to be hard. I called 30 brokers here. 75, 80% of them said, we ain't really got much for, we ain't really got much for box trucks, but we got some for semis, but your trailer got to be like this. They all had work. I just had to have the specifics. They just, they had certain requirements. Let's see, no death on gliders, nothing but diesel. Good deal. I'm going to check out those gliders because I don't like the death. I don't like the uh, um, those filters and all that stuff you got to mess with. My box trucks have to be OSHA approved height to run these auto parts for the big three auto um, suppliers. No lift gates allowed. Bigger truck tires. Mm, interesting. Interesting. The pamphlet. The pamphlet. If you, if you take the class, the pamphlet of information is only going to be Thirty dollars if you take the class, but if you don't take the class, it's gonna be ninety nine dollars. Cause I'm pretty much giving you my whole presentation and all the information that I'm teaching in the class. But I charge more for the class because it's interactive and you get to ask questions and we and the, the learning environment is just way it's just it's crazy. It was crazy that eight hours of whew, it was crazy. All right, I think the two minutes is up for questions, and we're gonna jump into. I still got a whole lot of questions to ask. Um, well, well nah, I ain't got too many of them. But I'll try to jump back. Right now, let me go. Detroit. Okay, you just I did. Okay, most of, most of these are just asking. Um, say, 
can you can you do Amazon relay with the roll up door trailer instead of a swing door? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You don't. I don't think a swing swing door is not required because box trucks go there with roll up doors all the time. So, good good question. I had to take that one. That was that was, that was a very good one. I hope I hope everybody. Um, I mean, I hope that question benefited everybody. All right, so we finna jump into sharing the screen for the one time. We gonna jump into sharing the screen. Gonna jump into sharing it and then let me pull up Amazon Relay real quick. All right, we in here. We in here. So I gotta keep my eyes on the clock. Got about 13 minutes. Screen share. Share screen. Let's do it. All right, if y'all can see my screen, type in me some some nines or some sevens or something. Just let me know that y'all can see it. So so nobody's typing anything. So I'm gonna assume that y'all can see it, and I'm gonna just keep going. So I'm gonna look up St. Louis first. Look it up by the domicile. For some reason, these cities be weird. STL. Let me get this. All right, so yeah, I see this. Now it now this look like it's good forty three dollars a mile, but. For five miles, that that's I mean I would I wouldn't waste my time to make no two fifty, unless I just was right there in the area. Make a quick one. If I was an owner op, I would do that, but not 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 as a fleet owner. That wouldn't make sense. So let's go and look up box trucks. Then we'll look up semis. So in St. Louis, there is no box truck work. But it looks like plenty of um, plenty of loads for the semi, and they paying decent. Here go a load right here. Two dollars and eighty three cents a mile. That's a good one. And look at these blocks. These blocks in St. Louis look decent. These blocks are are four hundred dollars more in St. Louis than they are here in Atlanta. So like I told you, the Midwest is where it's at when they come to trucking. Even they ones that's further out, they even got they got 17s and 18s. Those are gonna easily be two grand at the fuel surcharge. So yeah, and it's a lot of them too. It's a whole whole lot of them. So moving right along, moving to the next, the next the next spot on the list is all right. Let me go with the ones I can remember right off. I remember Nashville. Now I'm gonna do Milwaukee first. That was the first thing somebody asked me about. They just didn't specify whether they want it. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So Milwaukee got a gang of one mile loads <laughs> for 400. Now I take that. <laughs> that. That's crazy right there. This is, these are, they got four of these, right? You have four trucks. They can, you can go get $400 off one mile real quick. Man, West is crazy, man. I love it. Made me want to move back up there, but not. Nah, I like the A too much. But yeah, so this is this is a these are all fifty threes right here. So y'all see, it's plenty of it's, psh, no draw on working. It's just one load board. This ain't even DAT. DAT is the biggest load board. So we just looking at Amazon. It's only a fraction of the work that's out there for real, like. And I just want y'all to understand, this is only a fraction of it. Is it? This is not the whole. The whole Amazon is definitely not the whole. The whole scope of stuff. 
So let's let's go ahead and look at 26s. It's a few loads on there. This one, this pan, I right, 258. Not really though. I'd take it if I ain't have nothing else, but I definitely want to get paid because you figure round trip, that's going to be 300 miles for $400. That's a, eh. I ain't saying I ain't never took a load like that when I was, when I was just trying to figure it out, but I'm just saying I wouldn't want to be doing those type of loads consistently. That's, that, that, that's all I'm saying. So if they, they do got some on the board for you. You could book this right now for, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, my bad. Just came out of nowhere. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I can um, definitely, like, whoever was in Milwaukee, you could book this low right now and have some work for the night and then turn around. You could run that low and then turn around and get back. You see, you'll be done by probably, like, about 8 o'clock. you probably get back to Wisconsin and run another one during the daytime off the, off, off a different load board. So we're going to move right along to Nashville. And I'm going to leave it on box. Nashville got plenty of box truck work. 16 miles away from Nashville. But it's plenty of work that's not paying enough. Like, do not take these loads for no dollar. If it's going one way, if it's going one way, you got to think about the miles that it's going to take for you to get back because you're in a box truck, and the chances of you catching something coming back is going to be slim. I'm just being 100% honest, especially if you're trying to run it every day. Now, if you're just doing a one-off load, yeah, and you're trying to move on to somewhere else, yeah, 185 but I still would do $2. Really, like, uh, real talk. So, Nashville, I don't know if y'all was calling for, um, we can go look at 53s real quick. Decent rates. Decent rates out there in Nashville. I see $2. That's good on, on 1400 on 725 miles. You can survive with that. Definitely. And y'all blocks is paying decent, too, though. So, the, these blocks are 1800 I mean, it's, it's paying what St. Louis paying. So, yeah. I mean, I do either one in Nashville look like. Because if, if y'all don't book those loads, then somebody else is going. I mean, not not somebody else is going, but the, the um, Amazon is going to make it go up. Cleveland, Ohio. I love looking up the Midwest because I know we're going to see something. So let's go with um, we, 53s. You already know. It's, it's the Midwest. You already know you're going you gonna to find all of these paying over two dollars, two two seventy seven. That's crazy. It's almost three dollars a mile. Like you, that that your motive. Look look at look at this man. Look at these. Look 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 at this block. This block. This is a guaranteed load for your drive on Friday, and it's starting at two grand, which means and and this is hub to hub. This is gonna have your driver coming back and everything. So definitely definitely. If I'm in if I'm in Cleveland, I'm getting me a semi and a box truck. I'm gonna get one and one. Ohio is just crazy with the prices. E even better than St. Louis, I can't believe that. I think I'm about to put my trucks up there in Cleveland, for real. I ain't even that, that kind of shocked me. Like two grand, you get twenty two hundred dollar load to go like a thousand miles, two twenty round trip. It's crazy. That's crazy. All right, so let's see. We got we got Kansas City. So we seen Nashville. We got Kansas City, Indiana. What my time looking like? All right, let me try to run through these. So we go Indianapolis. I'm assuming that's where, you know, that'd be a good place to look. Because I don't believe I had a city. So, yeah, so here we go right here. With the semis. They got some okay rates here and there. I hope I ain't moving too fast for y'all to actually see them. The team rates are like garbage, but yeah, they they got. I would definitely want more for that route. That ten thousand dollar load ain't that ain't that ain't really no good paying load still. Per mile is not, but we gonna jump over to the um. Let's see, let's see. Go to box, box only. 
Come on, man. So, as expected, Indianapolis got 26 foot loads, plenty of them. And these are these are all for tomorrow. And if y'all leave them there, they'll end up being more. So I would leave, man, this is crazy. Like if I'm if I'm in Indianapolis, I'm getting a box truck for sure. For sure. Anywhere in the Midwest, period. I mean, either one will work in the Midwest. Moving right along, Indianapolis got the high hand, just like Ohio, just like everywhere in the Midwest. I'm I'm proving, I'm showing to y'all without even looking at every at every city that like the mid it's certain places in the in a in the world that are just better for, you know, certain businesses. And trucking in the Midwest is just just one of those ones. So we got Seattle. Actually, actually, somebody asked for Kansas City. Let me let me show. but can't like I'm not even gonna look up people in the Midwest no more because I already know that all of it's gonna be good. <laughs> you know. And I don't know if they talking about Kansas City, Missouri or Kansas City, um, Kansas. But as far as box trucks, they got loads on there. Hold on. Okay. So they got box trucks. Box truck loads. And here goes semi loads right here. So yeah, plenty and they all plenty. You see a lot of tools. They're all a little one right there, but you see some tools on there. So yeah, they got a lot of them and they they blocks pan okay. They pan about what they pan out here in Kansas. But I definitely would just just on the strength that it's the Midwest, I definitely wouldn't wouldn't mind getting a getting a box out there. All right, let's check out Seattle, then Baltimore, and I got to yeah, I got two minutes. Seattle, we're gonna do Seattle, Baltimore. Dallas is gonna be good too, though. So that's like it's like certain certain really big markets is kind of just know. So Seattle has semis for sure. Everywhere got semi work. And they got box truck work. So Seattle. Amazon's in Seattle though. So <laughs> I would assume that they would definitely have a lot of work out there. But yeah, these, this this is a lot of box truck work. Even though it's not paying good, it's just showing that they if they put it on the board, those prices will go up. So we got Seattle out the way. Let's look at Richmond. Richmond is the best market, the best paying market for Amazon box trucks. Those guys out there that got dedicated work are, are doing really well. This thing is just not. I don't know why my computer moving out extra slow. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but this thing is like it's like lagging. But of course, probably because I'm live connection. Yeah, for some reason, I'm having issues with this. I don't know if it's they, if it's them, or is it me? Or yeah, I seem like it's my computer. All right, y'all. Well, well, yeah, it's nine o'clock. That's my alarm ringing off. But for some reason, like I said, my thing freezing up anyway. Guess that just must mean it's time to go. So, all right, y'all, thanks for watching my live t- Truck Talk Tuesday. I'll be here next week, same time, 8 o'clock Central Time. I might move it back to 7, but I'll let y'all know definitely a couple days ahead of time. Um, thanks for watching as usual. I appreciate y'all. Um, try to hit me up and um, f- be sure to fo- follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, shoot me some emails. I-, I can get to some of them. I randomly try to go through ones, you know. But it's, I got I got an assistant, but we only can answer so many because, you know, people asking about the course and, and different things. And make sure that y'all just go check out the website if y'all want to learn more about me, if y'all want to take the class. The next class is going to be on the 27th. If y'all want a coaching call, those are the things I like to do better, better than the class is coaching calls because I can give you one-on-one instructions and I can just talk to you and we can vibe for an hour or two 
about your business and, and kind of talk strategy and talk markets and we can look up every city every on every load board that you want to look up you want to look at dat you want to look at truck stop you want to look at amazon you want to look at jb hunt we can look at all of that stuff on a one-on-one call i can give you more sound advice that way than on a live where i'm trying to scramble around but again like i said could um, hit me up my my phone number is on a website where you could text me at, at 833 i don't even know the number but but you definitely can reach out you can chat with me on the website sometimes it's me sometimes it's one of my assistants. It just depends on what i got going on but with me being about to um, buy three more three trucks and three trailers, I'm gonna be more busy with the game. So I haven't been dropping as many videos because I'm trying to get some of this pandemic money. So peace, y'all. Peace and love. I will see y'all next week. I, I'll be dropping some more content. If y'all could definitely email me some video ideas on some videos that, or some topics that I could talk about, greatly appreciate it. Peace, y'all. And make sure y'all hit the like button before y'all leave. <laughs>